Today, a 17-year-old Fairfield prep student will be laid to rest after he was killed at a party over the weekend. Friends and family will gather at a funeral for Jimmy McGrath in Trumbull. And new court records reveal more about the fight that caused his death. Let's bring in Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Audrey Russo. She's live at the Shelton Police Station. So, Audrey, this fight spanned two parties Saturday night. Wendell, Caitlin, that's right. Court records show that two Shelton teens showed up at a first party on Lazy Brook Road. There they got into some sort of tense exchange with students from St. Joseph's School. Then later on, students from St. Joseph's showed up at the second party on Laurel Glen Drive about a mile away. Now, court records show there were more than 50 students at that second party. Witnesses told investigators that an SUV showed up and was throwing things in the yard. Then one witness told police he approached the group of kids and asked them to leave, but they refused. One of the two kids threw a punch at their group and a large fight broke out. Now, that's when witnesses say 16-year-old St. Joseph student Raul Vi Valle wielded a knife. The warrant says one teen was stabbed in the arm, another in the leg four times, and a third teen was stabbed three times and now has a collapsed lung. But 17-year-old Jimmy McGrath was stabbed in the chest and died from those injuries. Now, Valle's father was in court for his son's appearance yesterday. He told our cameras that he's sorry for the McGrath family. Now, he, Valle is being held on $2 million bond, and he'll be in court again on June 7th. But police are telling us that they've actually ID'd two other juvenile suspects who were with Valle on Saturday night, and they tell us that this is still very much an active and fluid investigation. Live in Shelton, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.